And let's now show you how the second half unfolded in Boulder. Colorado received the kickoff to start the second half and uh, big return here for the Buffs. Arthur Jaffe, uh, 66 yard kickoff from Russell and this ball is taken back, uh, Gary, right close to midfield. So Russell well, booted we, we it lose that air, we lose leverage well. over there. So the ball bounces out. So they get me at the 30. Now it's at the 44. So you give them two and a half first downs to start the second half. That's not the way. <laughs> Obviously, they didn't listen to me very. We lose contain there on defense. If we contain him, he's probably sacked. Again, there's there's two uh, there's two leverage and contain problems right off the bat, and that's just fundamental defense. Uh, they get a nice run here and, and uh, a running play, and we do a good job. We did most of the day. We did a pretty good job against the runs and, and put them in that position. Uh, they've got some short throws. They're working the ball, and they, these are okay. Uh, you know, these, these things happen. And, but again, you come out and, and a missed tackle. You know, you're out of control, you missed tackle. So the ball being at the 12 yard line versus the two yard line. So there's, there's, you know, this gets back to there's certain things you have to do, and that wasn't a very good goal line play by us. There's certain things you have to do to play good defense. And we broke about three or four of those things that we were doing the first half. Now, good for us, our offense came in, didn't do very well. The defense got going again. And then we played exceptionally well the second half. Holden Smith with a sack, loss of 13 yards there on the play by. Hanson and you guys were just all over the quarterback. Yeah. Eight quarterback sacks. I think Alden drove that offensive tackle crazy. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah. he's a good player. And uh, and then here comes uh, uh, who, this Steeples. Is, uh, the Steeples. You know, he, we, had, we had a corner crash, so we brought Steeples off the edge, or we were in dime and just brought him off the edge anyway, because uh, he plays dime for us too. And what a great hit, and that's a physical play. That mm -hmm. helmet goes through the football, pops out, and we got great field position. And Blaine Gabbard said after the game he felt the best he's felt in weeks with that ankle and it showed the way he was able to run a little bit there and, and threw well all day it seemed. Just run a little bit here. He'd like to bring that one back. And there, there's, the, there's, there's, there's a couple things. And look at him down there fighting and competing to try to get that guy. That's, that says a lot about Blaine. But there's a, there's a couple things which you, there, there's a ton, that you learn when, when you should throw it, when you shouldn't throw it. And uh, we had two of those. He's going to learn from those. We come back and throw them right away again. And that was a real nice uh, catch by uh, Jared Perry. 11-yard gain. It's 33-17, Missouri leading late in the third quarter. Gabbard here is sacked, and Colorado's starting to get some momentum its way. Yeah, there's no question about it. They definitely have momentum going to the fourth quarter. And, and offensively, we're struggling a little bit, which is, which is you know, we we got we to re revisit that. You can't be as good as you did in the first half and then not move the football. But our defense, you know, ha hangs in here. Gary, that was a third and uh, one there. Now it's fourth down and a foot. And I thought the play of the game. Sean Weatherspoon comes in it and was makes huge. a stop. It was huge. And that shut the momentum down for the rest of the day. It was over. They get that first down. I don't know if they're going to score a touchdown. I don't know if they're going to score a field goal. I don't know what's going to happen. But that shut that, shut that down. And then uh, offensively, again, what we were in that spot, we were just let's move the ball best we can. Defense is playing well. And uh, let's just not let's not do anything to, to lose this football game. And we came out and played very, very sound defense. Yeah, the defense really did a job. You think Colorado finished with 17 points, but one was a defensive touchdown. And speaking of defense, I, I thought Kevin Rutland, coach, looked really good in coverage. Not just the interception, but he had some big plays defensively in the end zone earlier in the game. Yeah, yeah, real nice play right there what he made. And, uh, you know, again, you know, turnovers change games. It, you know, that, that thing goes from a score, possible score for them to put us in great field position and uh, just nice to see all these turnovers coming which we've been waiting for and I told the, the players it was going to happen sooner or later and uh, sometimes you just go through what we did. Missouri had eight quarterback sacks and forced four Colorado turnovers and their uh, Hanson under duress just has to fire That was Jacquees Smith uh, putting yeah. pressure on him, bring a corner off the edge and, he's, and it's Alden Smith knocking it down or Jerron, I'm not sure which had, had it there. Uh, it was Alden. It was he's Alden. broken up a lot of passes. Well, he's a tall dude, so I mean, he's big. He's got you know, big wingspan. Uh, Six but, five, two fifty five for Alden Smith. And meanwhile, you're just uh, running that football and running that clock down. Yeah, we're, we're, th this is get the game over. Mm -hmm. This is not trying to look pretty. We got the lead. Let's not make any mistakes. Defense playing well, kicking game. Can't say enough about Grant coming in here, uh, you know, and just counting on these kicks. And that made it a three score game, sure. which theoretically the game's over with. And then uh, Alden Smith makes another sack. And uh, a, lot of, a lot of people doing their job, pressure, a lot that gives, that gives him a chance to, to free himself up. And uh, here comes uh, some more pressure there. It's Alden again. Guess so who? He's, <laughs> you know, he's, he's, he's having quite a day. I mean, quite a day. And uh, just uh, it was a good win for our football team, you know. 
uh, you're going to have adversity. That's part of this business. And uh, nobody wants to lose three in a row. And v rarely does that ever happen around here. I'll let you know that uh, this shouldn't probably be a surprise, although there were many candidates. But the Missouri Employers Mutual Player of the Week is defensive end Alden Smith. He had four sacks for a loss of 35 yards total in Missouri's 36-17 win. MEM, the state's number one provider of workers' compensation insurance.